The social services should be there to protect our children. And they're not. They're there to scare us into doing what they want us to do. So basically, if they don't find these kids for adoption, if they don't find an excuse, whatever that excuse may be, whether how minor it is or major, they, is, they will lose money. Yeah. So in effect, children are being adopted because of the monetary um, yes. incentives. Yes. I don't particularly like people. I don't. And uh, it makes it very difficult to be a social worker. <laughs> Which is the reason I don't like people, so it's circular. If you don't meet your target, you're also docked across the board in your entire grant. So the incentive to find kids for adoption is overwhelming. In theory, a child should only be in foster care if it's necessary, not for just stupid reasons. Well, what would be stupid reasons? Well, in my to... view, if you've got a situation where mum's been beaten up by dad and they've split up, and mum's got the kids. You shouldn't take the kids off mum. Well, why do they then? Well, you have to ask them. <laughs> it's called... Well, you're an MP. You well, make no, the laws. Well, yeah, sort but the of. point is the courts don't necessarily follow the laws because they're in secret. They, they don't necessarily follow the laws properly and all sorts of procedural things go wrong. Don't worry about it. We'll stand here all night. Well, you can stand here all night then, sweetheart. It's, it's too cold for you to be doing that. And to be honest, you're supposed to be out catching criminals. Now, I've done nothing wrong. I'm not calling you a criminal. No, no. No, but that's what your job is. Your job is to go catch criminals, people that actually break the law. After dealing with these two police officers, all of a sudden another another four turned up. All right, we're here to do a welfare check on your child. Right. So if you facilitate that, I'm sure we can assist you. I requested that only two officers enter my home. I, think, I, think I will let it. two officers right. into my house. Lance, two. Okay. Lance Sergeant, so... You will come in, we'll have a chat to you, all right, and we'll take you from there. And they asked me very nicely, could you just make sure the dog's not in the way, you know? I don't know your dog, you know your dog. Would you be able to get your dog under control in a different room, with, away from the baby, so we could just go in and do the welfare check without having to worry about dogs? It could be very, very straightforward, so I don't think it has to be as complicated as it seems. I know, I know. You don't need a dog shield at all, so it's yeah, not no, aggressive no. whatsoever. Um, just to tell you guys, you have been recorded. I know, we are aware of that, thanks. Okay, <laughs> even on the computer. That's fine. That's fine. Thank we you. expect you to honour your oath today. We're coming to us checking the welfare of a small child. It's nothing okay. to do with criminal investigation at this stage. We've okay. We're coming in to basically check the welfare of a child, and we have uh, how to do that to save life and limb. Save life and limb, is right. That's common law, yeah. Yeah, that's common law. Yeah. So we can enter on that. Okay, yeah, then we'll grant you permission to come and view the child. Simple as that. You've got one child removed every 20 minutes in the UK, 24-7, 365 days a year, right? Right now. So during this, during this today, how many kids have been removed? Not, and it has to be immediate risk of harm, remember that, for any removal, right? And it's obviously not the majority of the time. We're all proof for that. And the superior officer has come into my home after again clarifying that there was a welfare check that um, that he, and that he was under his oath, that all of a sudden, due to my concealment of pregnancy, that they were forcibly taking my son from my care. Concealed pregnancy? I haven't concealed a pregnancy all right, okay. at well, all. We're going to take the child. Why are we on that? Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Yes, yes. No. 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 I am I am a breastfeeding mother. That's fine. Spence? No. No. Just come in. No. No. Yeah, under what law? And then the rest barged in. What court order? I want a no. court order right now in this house, signed by a judge. There's the nothing wrong with me. Right, can I just go to the same area? Sal, I mean, just go. You go. I want come a wet ink signature. Come outside. From me? Gary, no, I'm Gary, peaceful. come outside. I've been peaceful. No, no you have. They've assaulted my partner. They've assaulted me, and we caught it all on film. Just come outside. Right, why, 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 we, come outside with your Can I ask you why? Because you're obstructing us. I'm not obstructing you. Are, you. Just, just do me a favour. I know, no, I know. No, 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 no please. No. This is fucking illegal. Yeah, no, no, no. Stay calm. You're obstructing me on my duty. Now, please leave. Paul was in no way 
obstructing. He was at the other side of the room at the time of his arrest. Why are you? Why are you taking? Why? Why are you taking my son? Why are you taking my son? He was never read his rights, so he wasn't arrested. Why? Our child has been stolen. Right. Our child has been stolen. Right. Our child has been stolen. Our child. Now you need to speak to John Emming because he's got the bloody statistics. We know, for instance, last year that about 11,000 children were compulsorily taken into care. That compares to the figures in 1995 of 5,500. You have to ask yourself, are the children any safer now that 11,000 are taken into care each year rather than 5,500? I think the answer is no, which gives you evidence to the fact that um, the care system's taking the wrong children into care. Why do you think they're, they're taking children away from perfectly good families and putting them into foster care with people that could possibly abuse them themselves? It's money. It all boils down to money in the end. They get thousands of pounds per child just on the day they remove them. And the longer they can keep that child in care, the more money they get in their back pocket and they get their points for their little catalogue. Up till two years ago, there were millions of pounds which I listed on my website given to the councils for fulfilling their adoption targets. There was such a fuss about this, adopting people just to get the money, <coughs> that the targets were abolished officially, the money target, but the targets still exist. The instruction from Tony Blair, the Prime Minister at the time, to increase adoptions by 40% in so much time, that still exists and they still go <clears throat> for adoptions. I'm on Dunham Bread Street at the moment, and then you go over here, it says social company, social services. Let's go, and there we have it. All these are oh, trading for profit companies. I think it's 20. Is it any wonder they want to take our kids into care? You know how many of these social services are there? Yeah, pretty interesting, huh?